Hey, Alicia, uh, welcome back after a long layoff. Um, I was just wondering, uh, what, what was that time like while you were, um, you know, waiting for an opportunity, you know, having to go through clearing your name from the PED situation? Um, okay. Yep. So I want to say that everything is ordained. Everything is orchestrated the way it's supposed to go. And one thing about me that John mentioned is the faith. I have faith as small as a mustard seed. And if you know what that looks like, it can move mountains. And I know that my opportunity was already waiting for me, but I had to go through transition. I had to go through phases to understand who I was, what my purpose was, what my assignment was. It's bigger than boxing. It's more than fighting. It's who I am as a woman, a godly woman to keep pushing forward in life because life gets hard. But baby, like I said, I'm an overcomer and, and God gets the glory at the end of the day. So all that to say is I'm purposeful and I'm here for a reason. You'll see that tomorrow night. Thank you for the question. We roll on. Next up, we have Sean Ziddle from Bleacher Report. Hey, Alicia. Um, I know you have a very tough opponent in Delphine Pursun, been one of the toughest fighters around these weights for years now. Um, but you're also sharing the weekend with Michaela Mayer, former rival that you fought at 130 for the undisputed title. Um, if Michaela is able to win a world title at 47 this weekend, would you, would you want to do that rematch? You've talked about fighting at 147 against Clarissa Shields. Would you be willing to go to 47 for that rematch with Michaela Mayer? Of course. Um, anything to punch Michaela Mayer in the face again, that would be a great opportunity. 